Tanzania uh, GOSO works with Global Resource Alliance or GRA. And GRA is a small local organization that has many different activities how to make the lives of the local people better as well as, as protecting the local environment. Especially projects related to deforestation and, and uh, sustainable land use, which is a really big problem in Tanzania as there is not really any natural forest left in this region as they are all cut down for firewood and charcoal. There has been talks about uh, charcoal ban in, in local government and, and uh, this would reduce this forest loss for sure but it would also make the fuels very expensive and scarce for the local people. Um, however, let's today meet the GRA people and, and let's hear about their activities. My name is Madaraka Nyerere and I'm the acting executive director of uh, Global Resource Alliance Tanzania but I'm also a member of the board of Global Resource Alliance Tanzania. Global Resource Alliance Tanzania is a non-profit organization, an NGO, which um, has four main activities. Um, uh, the first one is uh, we drill boreholes, we supply uh, uh, water drilling or well drilling systems. Uh, we drill uh, low-cost boreholes um, in the area around here, which is Mara region. Sometimes we go outside Mara region, but mostly, mostly within Mara region. Uh, the second activity that we do is we look after orphans. Um, we have uh, close to 200 children that we um, supply with uh, educational materials. We pay for their fees. Uh, most of them are in primary school. We have some in secondary school. And we have a small mi minority which is in also in college, uh, uh, in university and, and some colleges. Uh, the, th the third activity is we, uh, we have a uh, project where we distribute um, um, seedlings for planting trees. So it's, it's like a re reforestation um, project. Mm -hmm. And we cooperate with a, an organization called We Forest. So we've given out at least um, more than half a million trees uh, for the past few several years. And the fourth project is we have um, an alternative medicine unit where we um, make uh, alternative medicine, which we also um, administer to the various uh, people who come to our offices. So those are the four main activities. The impression I have of the uh, GOSO uh, oven system is uh, well, it's quite impressive because uh, it's well it's a huge uh, <laughs> um, setup but uh, it works well, and I've seen uh, uh, the demonstration there mm. in the exhibition, which uh, was just uh, which we just attended. Mm. Mm. And um, my impression is, is, is it's, it's a very good, useful uh, for preserving uh, the environment because it doesn't use uh, it uses solar only, and uh, and so it's 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 a great uh, I think uh, it, uh, uh, technology which will help us uh, uh, prevent um, uh, affecting the environment uh, in general because there's a lot of use of charcoal around this region mm. and a lot of use of um, firewood also. Mm. So it will be something which will help us to, uh, to preserve uh, the forests that we have. Mm. Yeah, the problem, the problem of charcoal is, is very s straightforward. 90% um, of Tanzania's energy needs, and especially cooking, domestic cooking, is met by the use of charcoal. Only 2% of our energy needs are met by the use of electricity, and the rest by, um, by fuels, uh, by 
industrial fuels. So uh, the data that uh, we recently heard in the workshop is that um, of the 40 or so million hectares of land, about uh, 320,000 is decimated every year by the use of charcoal. Mm. So um, because uh, GOSO is introducing technology which, um, which, which avoids using uh, charcoal and it's just it's renewable solar energy, mm. then it's, it's, uh, it could be a very good um, uh, source of limiting the use of, uh, or limiting or, or let's say preserving the forests that we have, which mm. are being uh, decimated by uh, at least 300,000 hectares every, every year. Uh, the price, uh, you actually comparatively, uh, charcoal is, is really expensive because solar energy is, is once you have installed your, your equipment, you don't pay anything. Mm. But uh, for charcoal, it's something, now it all depends on, on usage, but, uh, and most of the time, the people who use charcoal don't buy in bulk. They buy in very small quantities. So naturally, it's, it's more expensive mm. for them to use, uh, to use charcoal than to use uh, uh, renewable uh, solar energy. My name is Obadia Magige. I am working at GLI Kines project, uh, the permaculture um, tree planting coordinator and the permaculture facilitator. Uh, we are planting the trees there and distributing them for the community for free. Uh, in case of permaculture, we are training people how to make their uh, home, uh, home garden. And uh, also, after harvesting all the, the, the material which we are cultivating there, we are distributing them to the community for free. So that is what we are doing there at, Kin uh, at Kinesi, the uh, permaculture project. My name is Elizabeth Jarrod. I'm working with CGRI as a volunteer at the project of Tumani Kwatoto Project. And the Tumani Kwatoto Project deals with the orphans and the vulnerable children, where they support each and everything about those children. They support financial and also the school materials and some food staffs every month. We have a lot of children. It's all about 100 and more than that. We are supporting them in each and everything every day. We give them school materials? Yeah, How we, about food? Yeah, we give them that, some school material and some school uniform every the end of the year. And also we are providing some food every month. That means we provide beans and maize every month. Uh, during weekend we are providing soap, exercise, exercise book, pen and pencils. And also when the child is sick, we are taking care of her or him. That's all we are doing.